Hi, I'm Dr. Ferguson. I've been a veterinarian for over 40 years and have taught at vet schools for 36, with about 10 years as a department head of a basic science department at the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine. For those just starting vet school, congratulations on the very difficult task of being admitted. You've succeeded in your pre-veterinary courses as much as you want to forget some of that chemistry, physics, basic biology, and math. We hope you'll realize after a Vet Med Academy vet school boot camp experience that you can leverage concepts from these courses as you move forward. I've taught and observed students making the transition from a variety of pre-vet prerequisite science courses to the fire hose of first year content. First year veterinary courses of anatomy, physiology, histology, neurobiology, microbiology, and immunology. And as you progress, this basis of understanding grows with topics like pathology, pharmacology, anesthesia, etc. By the way, the size of that fire hose is growing exponentially. Let me give you an example. When I graduated from vet school about 40 years ago, medical information doubled every seven years. In 2020, the information will double in about 70 days, less than one semester. So what is a vet student, or a vet for that matter, to do? Well, unlike yours truly, you don't remember a time when you didn't have access to a computer, if not a mobile device. And more and more, you're going to operate in the digital environments which will help you sort out content. What hasn't changed? What fundamentally does a veterinarian or any medical professional need to do? Solve problems. Sometimes with incomplete data sets. That is, you need to learn to think critically about medical and clinical problems. And in order to survive in vet school, you need to develop a strategy to integrate the content you will be learning. And thereby, develop strategies for long-term learning that is well beyond any exam. Why? because the next set of topics will depend upon a solid understanding. For example, I'm a pharmacologist and an internist. Do you think that you can understand second-year pharmacology if you don't have a good handle on physiological concepts? And do you think you can understand medical pathophysiology without this background? You can't. Yes, vet school is what we call cumulative, but we'd like to show you a strategy to integrate preclinical concepts with relevant clinical problems thereby constantly updating yourself while clearing your mind of outdated or irrelevant information. Now we all know that the past two years have been a huge disruption, but we also know you might be somewhat shell-shocked with having to had to adjust to online learning. But at Med Academy, we've been doing this for a while now. We'd like to offer you the opportunity to engage in our physiology and pharmacology boot camps to help you get an edge up on these important subjects while simultaneously learning about their clinical relevance and building a strategy for long-term retention. In 2021, we have new content in the Interactive Physiology Bootcamp on GI Physiology, and this will be followed by a special pharmacology bootcamp uh, co-coordinated with the Veterinary Educators of Pharmacology Special Interest Group, group of faculty, uh, focusing on general principles of pharmacology and on rational antimicrobial therapy. Previously available topics uh, were uh, cardiovascular physiology, respiratory physiology, and renal physiology, each separate modules. And pharmacology boot camp in 2020 was on general principles and pain management. These offerings will not have interactive components this year. Each learning module uses its topical content as an example, and you can learn principles of how to approach the general subject matter just as well from any one of these modules. In fact, in each of these modules, we focus on concepts, integrating to understand those concepts using clinical cases and emphasizing the practice of critical clinical thinking. So how will the two weeks be designed? Well, we plan on releasing concept videos for you to review and cases and questions to consider over a designated timeline. However, for greatest flexibility, most of our interactions will be asynchronous. That is, using message board posts linked to email and posted information in the learning management system. 
Following each set of concepts, we will present a related clinical case scenario that can be better understood if one masters the preclinical concepts presented. We'll give you a chance to think about the case, and then we'll all discuss it through our message board system, link to email, and then when the discussion is wrapping up, we'll post a video highlighting major elements of the case and its connection to the preclinical concepts. Over the two weeks, we'll go through the cycle several times and then at the end, summarize the discussion with hopefully helpful insight and advice. Finally, regardless of the platform or topic, your modest tuition brings access to these materials and if needed, content support from the instructors for the entire next year of vet school. So if you're just entering vet school, welcome to the profession. If you're in the midst of your schooling, congratulations on persisting through this past year. And if you have a need for a review or a preview of physiology or pharmacology, please consider signing up. Regardless, we at Vet Med Academy wish you all the best for the next year, and above all, stay safe.